Welcome to Worst to Best, a series where I'm ranking every gun within a weapon class after I unlock diamond camo and have tons of experience with each weapon. This episode is all about the handguns of Call of Duty Vanguard. So with that said, coming in at the number 5 spot, the worst handgun in Vanguard is the Clouser. The Clouser is actual garbage. This is like one of those old school Call of Duty weapons that is significantly worse and no one ever touches. And that's because the Clouser has three huge drawbacks. The first is it is a three shot kill weapon with an extremely slow fire rate. It's time to kill is about 150 to 200 milliseconds slower than the other pistols. Even with its damage increasing mag, it's excruciating slow. The second drawback is that it has a lot of recoil which makes hitting shots a lot harder. Harder. This is one of the most unforgiving weapons to miss shots with because you're adding over 200 milliseconds for every shot you miss. The third huge drawback with this is for some reason it has the slowest aim down sight speed in class. It's not as big of an issue but it's still an unnecessary downside on an already bad weapon. I don't see any redeeming qualities or class setups that make the Clouser decent. It is the worst weapon in all of Vanguard, not just in the pistols. Avoid using it at all costs. It's bad. I would never recommend using the Clouser. Coming in at the number 4 spot is the Machine Pistol. The Machine Pistol has the fastest base time to kill between the pistols excluding one shot kills and it has a few lethal attachment combos that make that time to kill even quicker. Which is all great, but the Machine Pistol has a lot of recoil and the recoil is always going to be an issue no matter how many attachments you stack. I feel like I never have control over my shots with this weapon. It's more so that I'm guiding them and hoping that my shots will land on my target. The other infuriating thing is the ammo count. You start off with 10 rounds in the magazine and this weapon takes 4 shots to kill. The only mag option that gives you a decent amount of ammo to work with is the 40 round mag, but that mag happens to reduce your damage and increase your time to kill. Regardless of which mag you use, you're going to be burning through magazines fast. I find myself spraying an entire 10 round mag, you know, while I was leveling it up without even getting a kill because this weapon's so inconsistent. The saving grace on this weapon though is the Akimbo proficiency, although this is one of the last unlocks so you have to put yourself through a ton of torture to unlock it. In the end, I just the machine pistol is another pistol I'd never recommend you use. It just takes a lot of effort from you to be an okay weapon. Most players are going to get more use out of the top three pistols. And some of those pistols get close to doing what the machine pistol can do, if not better. Really quick plug, if you're enjoying this video, please tap that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Take a look on the graph on the screen right now. I'm trying to improve those stats, so check out some of my other videos, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Next up, the third best handgun in Vanguard is going to the Rat. Now, the Rat is just your standard pistol. It's the fastest firing semi-auto pistol in class, but it will take four shots to kill to the body, making for a below average time to kill. Although I want to make clear the rat is nowhere near as slow as the Clouser. You also have access to a magazine that will reduce the rat to a competitive 3 shot kill. The rat also boasts the fastest aim down sight speed in class, it's an easy to handle weapon, it's reliable, it's consistent, the rat's just simply not going to cause frustration while you're using it. It's just that outside of the 45 ACP rounds, the rat doesn't have great attachment options so it's not going to improve drastically like some of the other pistols. The top two pistol ceiling is much higher, I mean even the machine pistol ceiling is higher than the rat. But don't get me wrong, it's a great starter pistol and I 100% would rather use the rat over the Clouser and the machine pistol. Now these top two weapons, I feel like these could go either way, but I am putting the top break in the runner up second best handgun slot. The top break is a slower firing high damage handgun, which may leave you unimpressed when you first use this weapon. It's a three shot kill, two if you land a headshot, but it's time to kill is respectable for a pistol at 280 milliseconds. That's actually faster than the rat. It's just gonna be unforgiving if you miss a shot with that slower fire rate. It's the top break's attachments that make it so good and especially versatile. 
The Russian short magazine gives the top break a two shot kill in the fastest semi auto time to kill between the handguns at 153 milliseconds. The top break also has access to the vital proficiency for an even faster two shot kill to the chest. It has a one-shot headshot barrel, which unfortunately isn't amazing like the Modern Warfare Deagle, because so it's going to be a minimum three-shot kill to the body when you combine it with the Russian short mag, but it's still a powerful option if you can land headshots. But my favorite attachment is the M15 shot shell, which converts the top break into a shotgun. It's not a powerful attachment on its own, but if you combine it with the Akimbo proficiency, the shotgun shells are an easy one tap kill at close range. But the one downside that holds the top break back is that you're going to be stuck with a six round mag at all times. It's not really an issue if you're running Akimbo, but non-Akimbo squeezes 2-3 to three kills out before you have to reload, and the top break's reload is the slowest in class. So it can be a wonky weapon to use, it can be a struggle to use early on, but the top break is a fantastic secondary weapon when fully leveled up. That brings us to the top of the list. At the number one spot, the best handgun is going to the 1911. The 1911 is a three shot kill without attachments with a slightly faster fire rate than the top break, making for a 254 millisecond time to kill that is fastest in class excluding the machine pistol. It also boasts a faster than average aim down sight speed and it's an easy to handle weapon. By far it's the best pistol without attachments. Speaking of attachments, it has three great attachment options. It has the Russian short mag, which makes the 1911 a two shot kill, clocking in at 170 milliseconds. This weapon also has access to vital, which will grant a two shot kill to the chest, which can be paired with an infinite range barrel for a two shot to the chest at any range, by the way. It also has access to a Kimbo, so you can potentially one shot enemies with the Russian short mag. You can also go full auto Akimbo, and if you decide to go with the default magazine, two tapping with the Akimbo 1911s is going to outgun most weapons in Vanguard. A word of caution about the full auto barrel though, on paper it seems really good. It lowers the damage on the weapon, but more than doubles the fire rate, which actually increases the time to kill significantly. This is a rare occurrence in Vanguard where reducing damage on a weapon isn't a drawback. But the recoil on the full auto is bonkers. Unless you're point blank, there's a great chance you're going to miss that second shot with the way it jumps up so high. So you're not going to be taking advantage of that faster time to kill unless you're maybe using the 9mm rounds. I really wouldn't recommend using full auto single, I'd just go with the Russian short mag, but full auto Akimbo is pretty fun to use. It's actually better than the machine pistol unless you bust out that fire rate barrel on the machine pistol. But yeah, the 1911 is simple and it has a lot going for it. It's the strongest pistol straight out the gate at level 1. It's strong with Russian shorts. Akimbo makes it literally twice as good. And it has flexible mag options that allow you to churn out kills rather than weaving in and out of cover, reloading like you are with the top break, which is why I think it edges ahead of the top break. But hey, maybe you disagree with me on a handgun or perhaps my entire list. As always, you're encouraged to comment your own worst to best list, but make sure you try these class setups on screen before doing so. These classes are what I use in the gameplays for this video and are built for each weapon strengths that I discuss throughout this video. It's a good chance they will change your mind on some weapons. Check out my worst to best playlist for more videos like this one. Don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to help support the channel directly, you can check out some of the links towards the bottom of the description. Peace.